Well, your investigator Katie Wise joining us now with a breakdown of what happened with all of this. So Katie, what have you learned about this? Well, Michaela, yeah, it's been a pretty, as you've seen, a pretty intense day for a lot of people. The company called CrowdStrike, a major player in cybersecurity, released an automatic update for their protection software that really didn't go as planned. Its CEO says they quickly identified the problem and rolled it back, but not before this led to global computer crashes, renewing concerns of our daily reliance on computers. To help us understand what happened, I spoke with a computer science and cybersecurity professor at the University of Denver. Widespread disruptions all began with a faulty update to cybersecurity software meant to protect Microsoft Windows computers from harm. Uh, and the software happened to have some bugs in it, or at least one major bug, uh, that caused a large number of Windows hosts that were running the software to get a blue screen of death, which is basically when Windows doesn't boot. Nathan Evans, the director of cybersecurity programs at the University of Denver, says the update was forced out automatically, meaning any CrowdStrike customer signed up for automatic updates was likely affected. They probably made a mistake in pushing out an update or a patch that hadn't been rigorously tested enough. So, you know, the solution in, in this case would have been for them to do a lot more testing before releasing this update. Evans says the problem has been tricky to solve for many companies. In many cases, a person needed to physically come to the machine to fix it. So there was a particular driver embedded in the in the in the guts sort of of the Windows environment that needed to be essentially deleted or disabled before the machine could reboot properly. To be prepared for potential glitches in the future, Professor Evans suggests a few key steps. People should always in the back of their mind think, you know, what happens if I lose my computer tomorrow? For example, having offline copies of your important medical documents or your bank documents is, is always a, a good idea. And, and having backups of all of your important files on your computer and making sure that you know you're not storing something that you absolutely need to have in an emergency only in in one place especially digitally and a lesson for those of us not working in the software industry, while I'm told it's generally a good thing to be enrolled in automatic updates to keep your computer safe from cyber attacks or viruses, in the future you can stay informed about updates from software providers and be cautious about immediately installing them until they are confirmed as stable. Michaelia? All right. Lots of good information there. Katie, thank you so much. And look for more on this investigation.